Well, a CBC high school student and hockey player continues to fight for his life this morning. He was hit by a stray bullet driving on I-55, heading home from a hockey game with his father. We're going to check in now with Fox News' Laura Simon. She joins us outside of his school in town and country this morning with how the community is coming together to support Colin and his family. Laura. John, it has been an emotional couple days, as you can imagine, here at CBC High School, where Colin Brown is a beloved hockey player here. He is also a junior at the high school. And as the student body and hockey community alike are coming together, rallying around him, there have also been a lot of fundraisers happening for him and emotional vigils. We want to take you to one that took place in O'Fallon, Illinois last night. That's the city where the 16 year old grew up and played hockey up until he transferred here to CBC. Friends, family and even strangers gathering last night, sharing stories and praying for Collins recovery. He's a Actually known as Brownie and was shot while headed home on I-55 with his dad from a game in Afton on Saturday. And a lot of people describe Colin as a hardworking, kind and respected young man, both on and off the ice. Retired NHL referee Tim Peel, who now coaches youth hockey here in St. Louis, says the entire community is rallying behind Colin. Money is also pouring in through the Dog Nation Foundation, which already has raised tens of thousands of dollars to help Colin's family pay for medical expenses. Outside the CBC campus, hockey sticks have been placed near the school's chapel as a symbol of hope and solidarity. Students and staff even holding a prayer service for him yesterday morning here at the school. And we spoke with Colin's former coach named Dan Summer, who is still close with Colin and his family. We all have our way of grieving. It's been a very uh, roller coaster last couple days for me. Um, I, I, I can't imagine how um, Colin's father, Calvin, feels with it, what went on to, to be in that kind of control and that, in that situation for your son to be able to happen. It's bad enough when a, you know, a young child like that is on his own. But for a parent to go through that, it just tells you the kind of family and strength that they have. As people continue to pray for Colin to make a full recovery, there are support services here at the school for anyone who needs it. Counselors on staff. In the meantime, though, police are still looking for the person responsible for this, and they do think witnesses are out there. So if you have any information, you, of course, can call police directly or leave an anonymous tip with Crime Stoppers. That number for you is on our website. Reporting live here in town and country at CBC High School this morning, Laura Simon. Fox 2 News.